The road to WrestleMania is finally here, and we're kicking it off with the pay-per-view, the Royal Rumble, which is this Sunday. And the men's superstars that got announced at the Royal Rumble, it's Dolph Ziggler, Sami Zayn, Big E, Jeff Hardy, Cesaro, Otis, Chinsuke Nakamura, Jey Uso, AJ Styles, Bobby Lashley, Daniel Bryan, Randy Orton, The Miz, and Al Lee. And there is um, so many other spots that are left out, and they're keeping it mainly for a surprise. Well, what up, everyone? Iron Wolf here, and in today's video, I'm going to let you guys know my predictions on who I want to see make a surprise appearance at this year's Royal Rumble. And I'm starting it off with Carlito. Carlito has been one of my favorite all-time wrestlers from back in the day. And I was so happy to see him make a return at Raw's Legends Night. But something came up and he decided to not make a return. Um, something came up and that's why we didn't see him make a return. But uh, it would be so nice to see him return at this year's Royal Rumble. My second surprise entry is none other than CM Punk. Yeah, I know I'm going to get a lot of hate from this. You guys are going to be like in the comment section below. Keep dreaming, Irewolf. Keep dreaming. It's not going to happen. Well, <laughs> can a man dream? I'm hoping he comes back for, even if it's just one night only, it would be a dream come true to see CM Punk make a return. The other surprise entry I would definitely like to see is, and also this would get a major pop. A lot of people would be cheering, getting off their seats, yelling, screaming, waking the neighbors up because of excitement is The Rock. I would definitely like to see The Rock make a return at the Royal Rumble. And also, if The Rock wins the Royal Rumble, it would be good to see him face Roman Reigns because that's been one of the biggest dream matches everyone would like to see. And I remember a lot of people were asking for that dream match last year, but it didn't happen. So, eh? Why not make it happen this year? A dream come true. Make a dream come true. The other surprise entry I would definitely like to see at the Royal Rumble is The Fiend making a return. We have not seen The Fiend since December 2020, since uh, when Randy Orton set him on fire at that Firefly Inferno match at TLC. Ever since The Fiend getting caught on fire by Randy Orton, the Fiend basically been missing ever since. And uh, on Raw, in Randy Orton's latest um, promo, when he was wearing the mask, Randy Orton did tease that The Fiend is, is uh, planning on costing him the Royal Rumble match. What if that tease actually comes true and we see The Fiend making a return at the Royal Rumble, costing Randy Orton the match. And also, it's been rumored, well, we already know it's happening, that The Fiend is going to be having a new look. He's going to be having a new mask. And it's supposed to be really creepy. Well, anyways, if that rumor comes true that The Fiend is returning at the Royal Rumble, costing Randy Orton the match... I would definitely like to see that happen. The other surprise entry I would definitely like to see at the Royal Rumble is Braun Strowman. We have not seen Braun Strowman for like months. And it would be good to see him make a return at the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. Alright, now that we talked about returns... Let's talk about debuts. I would definitely like to see Jay White 
make a debut at the Royal Rumble. That's one of my surprise entries I would definitely like to see. His contract has expired for New Japan Pro Wrestling, and ever since Jay White's contract been expired, people been wondering, where does this leave Jay White? Where, where, where does Jay White go from here? A lot of people think that he's going to be signing with AEW, but now we're hearing that WWE wants to sign Jay White. Would Jay White uh, um, accept that? And will he join WWE? Or do you guys think he'll join AEW? Let me know in the comment section below. But anyways, if he does sign with the WWE, and if we're wondering when he's going to make his debut, the Royal Rumble would be the perfect pay-per-view for him to make his debut. And the reasoning because of that is because it happened before with AJ Styles. AJ Styles made a debut at 2016's Royal Rumble. And it, since AJ Styles made his debut and that's how he came, uh, joined the WWE, then we could be seeing Jay White do the same as well. Unless he signs with AEW. But yeah, guys, um, Jay White is one of my uh, surprise entries I would definitely like to see at the Royal Rumble. My other surprise entry I would definitely like to see is uh, Karrion Cross. Karrion Cross is on the NXT roster and usually usually at Royal Rumbles we usually get one of the um, NXT superstars make a surprise entry. It happened before we got Adam Cole making a surprise entry we had um, Kyle. We had Kyle Riley, I think. We had um, Robert um, Roderick Strong. So why not carry and cross and also bring in Damian Priest? The other uh, debut I would like to see happened at the Royal Rumble is I know I know it's not going to happen because he's in AEW. But I would definitely like to see Kenny Omega make a surprise entry at this year's Royal Rumble match. And also, um, those are my surprise entries for the Men's Royal Rumble. So I w was like, you know what, why not start off the video talk about my surprise entry for the Men's Royal Rumble. Now, let's get on to the Women's. For the Women's Royal Rumble pay-per-view, my surprise entries are Victoria. We all thought she was going to make a return at the yesterday, not yesterday, um, last year's Royal Rumble. We all thought she was going to make a return at last year's Royal Rumble because uh, we got links at last year's Royal Rumble. Remember those links that went online, those behind-the-scenes photos that went online? And we got the Trons, like MVP's Tron, they showed Victoria's Tron. But we were like, yeah, Victoria's not going to make a return, MVP's not going to make a return. They're probably testing those Trons. Well, guess what? Last year's Royal Rumble, we actually got MVP make a return. But we didn't get Victoria, which her Tron was one of the uh, ones that got Link. Maybe... Maybe they were saving that for this year's Royal Rumble. Victoria could be possibility possible making a return at this year's Royal Rumble. The other return I would like to see at the Women's Royal Rumble is AJ Lee. We haven't seen her since... Um, I can't remember which WrestleMania was it, but it was when she teamed up with Paige and she took on, I think it was uh, Caitlyn and I can't remember the match, but I do remember she was teaming up with Paige and that was her last match in WWE. But it would definitely be nice to see her make a return. We haven't seen her for like years, so make it happen WWE, make it happen. 
The other return I would like to see happen in WWE is they should have Michelle M uh, McCall, Kelly Kelly, Beth Phoenix. Since Edge is going to be at this year's Royal Rumble, why not bring in Beth Phoenix? And now that we're talking about returns, let's talk about debuts. So, I would like to see Tyra Valkyrie make a debut at this year's Royal Rumble. Tyra Valkyrie. She's been in Impact, and she had this one storyline where uh, she was um, she murdered Johnny Bravo. She was like trying to murder Johnny Bravo, and she went to jail for it. And they had like a whole storyline, this and that. And uh, she's she's no longer in TNA. I don't know if it, um, if that happened in real life, but Tyra Valkyrie is rumored to be signing with the WWE, and she could be making a uh, debut at this year's Royal Rumble. So why not? Her husband, Johnny John Morrison, is in the WWE, so maybe, maybe she's going to be joining the WWE because John Morrison's there, her husband. Who knows? The other debut I would like to see is, uh, I, don't, I haven't watched Impact for a while, so I don't know if she still has a contract with Impact or if her contract expired, but I would definitely like to see Rosemary make a surprise debut surprise entry at this year's Royal Rumble Rosemary the other uh, person I would like to see make an appearance at this year's Royal Rumble is none other than the demon herself Sue Young the other uh, surprise entry I would definitely like to see is and this is not a debut She's been in WWE before. I would like to see her make a return. Emma. We haven't seen Emma in the WWE for so long. And it would be good to see her come back to the WWE. The other surprise entry I would like to see is... And I heard that she signed a contract with the WWE. And she's, she's going to be making her return pretty soon. We just don't know when... But what if the Royal Rumble is the perfect pay-per-view to make a return? And they're saving her return for the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. None other than Eva Marie. That's right, guys. Eva Marie could be making a return at this year's Royal Rumble. She signed with the WWE not too long ago, so she's under contract. She has a contract with the WWE. And they, they're saving her for, like, a storyline... But they haven't, like, um, have her made a return yet because they're waiting for the right opportunity. And what if that right opportunity is the Royal Rumble? So we could be seeing her make a return at this year's Royal Rumble pay-per-view. Alrighty, guys. So that's basically my predictions at this year's Royal Rumble, who I would like to see make a surprise entry. Let me know in the comments section below what you guys want to see make a surprise entry. Let me know in the comment section below. But anyways, guys, hope you guys liked that video. Comment below. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Turn on notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.